everyone welcome back to my channel Alex does my name is Alex welcome back to the bush welcome back to the site welcome back to the bushcraft base camp Australian building thingy you know <laughs> welcome back to my videos welcome back to those uh, long time viewers new time viewers new time subscribers all those supporters and commentators commentators commenters uh, and some commentators I guess on the channel I really appreciate your input it's a pleasure to be here I hope you enjoy your stay thank you for giving me your time if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing to the channel hit that bell for notification you know how it all works it helps me out helps the channel out helps us grow helps me bring more videos to you helps me escape reality and come out here into the bush for a bit of fresh air and sun oh, and some space which is awesome I love being here all right so let's crack on I'm getting straight into the cooking today it's why I got the fire going straight up because we're doing a bit of a slow cook I was thinking on my way in you know one of the things that I really love about having a YouTube channel is the the community that it creates the people you get to meet, the various points of view and input that people make. So I highly encourage you to make comments, join the community, join the conversation below. All opinions are welcome. This is a safe space. I certainly never will claim to be any type of knowledge expert in what I'm doing. So I'm always looking for your input and I love learning new things and I love meeting new people through the channel and those sorts of things. A couple of examples, for example, examples for example a recent subscriber to the channel Kurt uh, who has his own channel and I'll put a link to his channel in the description is a bit of a axe master and uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed watching all of his videos on axe work and, and learning a lot and some things on the axe craft in general and then following that whole rabbit hole that leads you from one video and one youtuber to another so yeah really appreciate you coming along Kurt and your input for those who uh, would like to see a bit of axe expertise I was said as I said I'll put the uh, link to his channel in the description because of that that's actually prompted me to order a new axe which will be coming onto the channel in the next few weeks also on the same topic of uh, viewer input I did mention a couple of videos ago uh, for any suggestions of things you might like me to cook and so today's recipe comes from a longtime subscriber and contributor to the channel named Rick thank you very much Rick for this uh, suggestion I am doing ribs today and I'm going to be using your based recipe uh, which sounds absolutely delicious but I'm not going to start basting the meat until it's been on the smoker for a little while which is again why I started the fire straight up because I want to get this slowly smoking over the next couple of hours and then we'll knock together the based basting sauce once it's uh, had a time to absorb some of that smoke and some slow heat and slowly cook and tenderize so to get this started let's go I've just got a couple of fairly basic 
cheapish pork rib racks. I was going to remove the membrane on the back. I started picking at it. Might get that bit off. I did see a um, a legitimate <laughs> legitimate. I did see a legitimate um, barbecuing type YouTube channel recently where they did a comparison. Um, they did a comparison between. Uh, removing the membrane on the inside of the ribs and not removing the membrane and the, the so-called uh, self-proclaimed expert on that channel seemed to think that there was no difference so I'm not going to worry about trying to peel off the membrane on the inside I'm just going to go really really basic I'm just going to salt and pepper these because I want the, the base the sauce that I'm going to be brushing on here later to be the hero of the dish apart from the meat of course so I'm just going real basic as I mentioned so I'm just going salt and pepper all over and then uh, this is going to go on the rack to smoke slowly for the next couple of hours which means after this I need to get my button to gear and uh, start cutting some firewood because my firewood pile is getting pretty low I didn't um, cut too much I didn't cut leave much at all when I was here last time and uh, yeah so that needs to be done too daily chores there we go, salt and pepper. Let's go get them on there. One at a time, maybe. Right, our ribs have been in here now for about an hour. I'm just going to turn them over for the first time. Oh, smoke in the eyes. Okay. Yum. All right, we've got enough firewood here to probably do me for this afternoon, this evening I think, it should be right, it's 20 past 1, so fair bit of the day to go, but um, I've kind of been enjoying using that saw, it's, I, I brought the bow saw, you can see I brought the bow saw, it's down here, but um, yeah, using the uh, vintage saw is so much better on that wood, so much better. And then uh, starting to get half an idea on how to use an axe properly. Um, also makes a difference too. It's crazy how much, uh, well, I suppose it makes sense, but it's so much more efficient um, and quicker. And you use less energy when you uh, apply a little bit of technique. Not that I, again, would ever claim to be any sort of expert. This is all, a lot of this is still new to me, so yeah <laughs> but I'm enjoying it it's great I love cutting wood who would have thought it
So this is the other creek closest to uh, the campsite. It's uh, on the other side to camp compared to the creek that you normally see me cross where I go and get the rocks and where in the past I've gone and got my water. I never used to come down here for water because for the first few months it always seemed to be really dirty but I think with um, I don't know maybe if it's because of lockdown or whatever there's not as much uh, four-wheel drive traffic I think that was the issue this creek here always used to be a little bit silty and uh, looking on the map it does cross a road further upstream with that I know is frequented by four-wheel drivers not that I have an issue with that not at all um, so I think maybe them crossing the creek was digging up or digging up they're turning up a lot of uh, silt in the water with the other side the other creek didn't have that issue so but lately I've been coming down here and it's quite clear and uh, I haven't shown much of it it's a you know it's quite a pretty creek system it does join the other one uh, further downstream they do come together but it's quite nice down here there's some quite deep patches in this creek here still nothing living in it um, other than the occasional insects and uh, tadpoles tadpoles is what you get Okie dokes folks, so we're going to crack on with making the base or the uh, glaze I guess really it is for the ribs. The ribs have been in there now for ooh, two and a half hours and the fat is certainly rendering out um, and I want them to probably be in there for another hour at least with the base or the glaze on it. So um, now I ne did neglect to bring with me any sort of fancy brush to uh, Put the glaze on so i thought why don't we have a crack at some uh, bushcrafting i will bushcraft a basting brush that's what this is after all a bush crafting channel or bush bushcrafting's in the title so it's kind of a bushcrafting channel so i've just got some grass here and uh, a stick i've got my knife let's make ourselves a basting brush All right, there we go. What do you reckon? That should do the job. I mean, obviously we can't be fussy, but beggars can't be choosers. We're out in the bush making the best of what we've got, the resources. That's what bushcrafting is about, using the resources that are at hand. So, uh, you know, forgive me that it's not perfect, but that'll do. All right, now, we, as I mentioned earlier, we're doing a recipe that was supplied by viewer Rick, and I don't want to mess up his recipe. Obviously it's his recipe, not mine. So. Um, I'm not going to play with it at all. I'm going to follow the instructions quite explicitly. Uh, so do apologize. I am reading directly from my phone. So Rick says, G'day Alex does. Here's a recipe that I would recommend you try. It's my favorite recipe for ribs. Sounds good. It's the Ducks Guts Barry. Rightio Maxie. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Let's scroll past, scroll past. There's a lot where he kind of, I'm just skimming a few sections. He goes on a few paragraphs, just telling me basically uh, how much he loves me and the channel. Yep, yep, 
Yep, love that. Yep, that was really good. Yep. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Love that episode. Thanks. Best YouTube channel he's ever seen. All right. Uh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Great. Uh, so Rick's uh, rib glaze. So there's only three ingredients. That so shouldn't be too difficult. But as I said, I'm going to follow the uh, instructions explicitly. I don't want to uh, do him any sort of injustice. So first ingredient, and he's very specific on the brand here, uh, is uh, three threes barbecue rib sauce. Ingredient number two, brown sugar, brown sugar. And ingredient number three, bottle of whiskey, bottle of Buffalo Trace. There we go. Right. So Rick says, first off, put a good amount of the barbecue sauce in the bowl. I don't know how much. That'll do for starters, I think. It's about three quarters of the bottle there, I think. Hmm. A good handful of brown sugar. That would be a good handful, I think. Maybe a bit more. Stir vigorously with fork for five minutes. All right, that'll do. That's close enough. Hmm. Open your bottle of whiskey. That makes sense. Mmm. Right, he says, take quick swig of whiskey. What? I don't know why that's in the recipe, but again, I don't want to do him wrong. Okay. Next, put a dash of whiskey into the bowl. It's probably a dash. Let's taste that. Mmm. Oh, yum. Right. And he says the next step is most important. Take your bowl of ingredients, now throw it in the trash and consume the rest of the whiskey. What? Alright, there's the first one. Look at that. Yum. Oh, how nice does that look? Yum. All right, maybe I will get the other one. There's enough room on here for two. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Mm -mm. All right, so let's just base this on, eh? Awesome does that look? <laughs> All right, these are going back on the rack. I'll probably give those about another, I don't know, hour, hour and a half, and I might baste them and again a few times until I run out of the basting sauce, which is delicious. That's a winner, Rick. Can't wait to eat them. Thanks, mate. Alrighty then folks, so it's been a little while. Those ribs now have been on that fire on the smoker in the fireplace chimney smoking away now for a total of about, I put them on there I'm pretty sure about 11.40, 11.45 and it's now quarter past four. So I've never been great at mathematics but uh, I would calculate that to about six or seven hours. But anyway, Looking at uh, Rick's recipe on his ribs, he suggests that once we've made our marinade and then basted our ribs, put them back on the fire, that we continue turning and basting and turning and basting until at least one and a half hours has passed or we've consumed half a bottle of whiskey. Right, so it's time to get the ribs off. Yum. Check that out. How good do they look? Oh my god, they're amazing. Mm. That marinade is awesome. Alright, so the next thing now to do is to, uh, uh, pardon me, cut them up and uh, prepare them uh, for, um, I don't know, 
whatever. Anyway, prepare them for eating. So, um, all right, let's get these cut up. Mmm. Holy cow. Have a look at that mountain of ribs. They smell so good. They taste so good. Oh, yum. I cannot wait to tuck into these. That's a, that is a mountain of meat. Now, obviously, those regular viewers of this channel would know that I am really big on promoting a balanced diet. Um, healthy living lifestyle and this represents a large amount of meat fat sugary sweet mm, sticky goodness <laughs> and as such along those lines of balanced living balanced diet obviously you've got to balance this out this is a large amount of deliciousness and the ideal thing to pair with this to cut through all that oh, fat and meat and sugary goodness is a salad and uh, I decided rather than fuss around um, in the bush and make a salad that I'd pre-prepare one at home and bring it in so I do apologize I hope you forgive me so let me just go and grab the salad that I decided that would be appropriate for pairing with this delicious mountain of pork product there we go, a bit of lettuce. Rightio, so I cannot wait to tuck into these pork ribs. Oh my God, let's get into it, eh? Oh, that is seriously just, oh my God, so tender. Oh, yum. Have a go at it. Mmm. Oh, Rick. In 10 years' time, if this YouTube channel keeps continuing and at some point I get some sort of endorsement deal where I do a um, cookbook, this is going in the cookbook and we're calling it Rick's Ribs. Holy cow. That is delicious. Try this at home. So easy. Mm. So good. Alright, I'm going to smash through these ribs and uh, I'll come back to you shortly. <laughs> oh my god. I can honestly say that not only is that the the best ribs I have ever cooked I think they're the best ribs I've ever eaten ever oh my god Rick they are brilliant so uh, to anyone watching um, please give that recipe a go it is so easy um, and please jump in the comments below and show Rick some love and some appreciation for his suggestion anyway that was that was just so so good so, uh, for anyone watching, if uh, you have some recipes or some sort of dish that you would like to see me try in the bush, or you have your own recipes that you think are worthy of me trying, something that's tasty, um, that would be possible to do in this sort of scenario, please hit the comments below and uh, let me know, or you can message me via Instagram. Uh, you'll find me on Instagram at... Alex does no expert. You'll find me on Instagram there. So anyone not following me there, um, jump on the Instagram and hit me up there at Alex does no expert because I'm really no expert. Um, oh my God, that was so good. That was so incredibly good. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up now. So thank you for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for giving me your time to support me and support this channel and its growth into the future. Fingers crossed that we can really take this channel somewhere big. That's if you want to see that happen. 
I, I know I want to see that happen, but anyway. So yeah, thank you. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit that bell for notifications so you will get notifications when new videos are uploaded. And I do upload every week at 8am every Saturday, New South Wales, Australian Standard Eastern Time. And uh, hit the comments, I'll reply to every comment. So yeah, that's me. My name's Alex, this is Alex Does. Thanks for coming along. See you later. Wow. <laughs>